I'm Osama Wazni. I'm the section head of clinical cardiac electrophysiology at the Cleveland Clinic. And the name of our study is the STOP AFib First study, which is the, looking at the safety and efficacy of the cryo balloon ablation as first line therapy in drug naive patients. The rationale of the trial was to, to assess whether ablation with the cryo balloon as first line therapy is more effective than trying antiarrhythmic drugs. And also we wanted to look at the safety profile uh, of the procedure. This was a randomized multi-center uh, trial that we ran in the United States um, with around 20 sites. And well, the, the main inclusion criteria were uh, patients with uh, symptomatic paroxysmal atrial fibrillation who are drug naive, and we define drug naive as patients who have not been on an antiarrhythmic drug for more than seven days. The main outcomes were met, and the main outcome that we were looking at was efficacy at one year, and we found that in the ablation arm, 75% of patients maintain sinus rhythm at one year after one and after the only an index uh, ablation, whereas 45, only 45% of the patients in the antiarrhythmic drug arm maintain sinus rhythm at one year. And we also found that the, uh, safety, uh, the safety endpoint was also met. Uh, that boundary was 12%. We only had two events, so that was about 1.9%. Uh, safety events. And these were one uh, pericardial effusion and one myocardial infarction about seven days after the ablation. Uh, the conclusion is that um, abla first line ablation with the cryo balloon is very effective. Once again, 75% maintenance of sinus rhythm at one year versus only 45% with a very a uh, significant uh, p-value, less than 0 0.001, and also that ablation with the cryo balloon is, uh, has a very safety, a very good safety profile. I think the next steps is to apply or try to apply the findings of the study uh, to, um, uh, to clinical practice. I think uh, this study has the potential to uh, change clinical practice. Uh, at the moment, uh, ablation is offered once antiarrhythmic drugs have failed. But uh, however, building upon our own theme of work and previous research, uh, I think it is time to say that uh, using ablation as first-line therapy is very reasonable and I think indicated in a large subset of patients. The take home message for the clinicians is that once we are confronted with a symptomatic patients with paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, it is very reasonable to offer them uh, ablation as a first line therapy instead of trying antiarrhythmic drugs first. Uh, so I think uh, also the study is important in highlighting the increased healthcare utilization when we uh, start with an antiarrhythmic drug strategy. Uh, how is this? Because these patients start with a medication, which they have to take every day, but anyway, most of them end up with an ablation, either because the medications failed or the, the patients were intolerant of the medication. So also when you take into account healthcare utilization, I think that it makes sense uh, to start with an ablation rather than uh, trying an antiarrhythmic drug um, initially. 